The answer is the Sixers because they have two young stars who may not have reached their potential yet. The surrounding pieces, the complementary pieces, can be figured out. You just saw Popovich really run an organization where they were able to identify and develop talent to, to put around Tim Duncan at first and later Kawhi Leonard. And, and that's really the issue. You know, what you, it's not just identifying the right pieces in the draft. It's then bringing them into a culture that works and developing them. Popovich should bring that wherever he goes. But is it better to bring that to a situation with a 30-plus star coming off a catastrophic injury from which almost no one has ever returned as exactly their same selves? Uh, and also an impossibly talented guy who seems to be bad in the locker room and disrupt team chemistry in Kyrie Irving, even though I know I'm talking about two champions? Or is it better for him to go to a team that has not been able to figure out the complementary pieces, which Popovich organizations seem to be, be very good at, what his team seems to be very good at, but can do it around two stars still in their early and mid-20s, still emerging and adding layers to their game, and particularly I'm talking about Ben Simmons. Whatever you want to say about Ben Simmons, because he can't shoot, and his free throw percentage suggests he's never going to be a, a, a good shooter. But his game, where he could make improvements, with, with the exception of that, look what he did defensively this year, guys. He became, I think, the best defensive player in basketball while remaining a dynamic offensive player. What would Popovich do for a guy like that? And then the fit between Simmons and Embiid, and, and how you have to get those complementary pieces just right considering their skill sets, but what the, 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 the sky is the limit if you do, right? How would Popovich be for that relationship, installing that culture with those kind of talents and then getting the right complementary pieces? I think given the age of the players on the team and what is needed, he's a better fit with the Sixers. I completely disagree with you. Um, I think the way for him to go would be the Brooklyn Nets. Let's understand a couple of things about Greg Popovich. Number one, he's been in San Antonio for 24 years as his head coach. His only losing seasons in 24 years was his first year and this last season. And he went to the playoffs 22 consecutive times. Max Kellerman, you're talking about developmental roles that he can play, bringing a team along, building, all of this other stuff. The man is 71 years old. He turned 72 in, San in, in, in January. We don't know how much longer he has because we don't know how much longer he wants to coach. And so when you take that into consideration, as great as Joel Embiid is, you still got to teach Ben Simmons how to shoot. You got to hope that works out. Obviously, some personnel decisions could help them. In the case of the Brooklyn Nets, I can make an argument for you right now. They don't have weaknesses talent-wise. When you add a healthy Kyrie Irving and a healthy Kevin Durant to that squad with Levert, with Dinwiddie, with DeAndre Jordan, with, with uh, Tayshaun, not Tayshaun Prince, Torian Prince, and all of these other guys, and you see the kind of talent that they have, the issue there is culture and attitude and making sure that somebody comes along that commands the respect of a Kyrie Irving, not so much Kevin Durant because Kevin Durant is just an ultimate team player. He's so efficient, he can, you can put him in any situation and he'll find a way to be Kevin Durant without taking anything away from what you already have. The problem is Kyrie Irving is mercurial. He's absolutely sensational and box office, but because of his mercurial talent, he can alienate teammates because of his style of play. They sitting around spectating, watching him put on a show or be in a process of doing so. Their games ultimately fall off because they're not uh, they're, they're not allowed or entitled to do the kind of things that they would normally be able to do if he were not on the court. Greg Popovich is the perfect complement to that situation because he's the one that can take Kyrie under his wing and Kyrie can't sit up there and say, I'm a champion. Why do I have to listen to this guy? This guy's a five-time champion. He's been to six NBA finals, okay, and won five of them. This man has won a career 67% of his game. He's usually universally recognized as one of the greatest coaches in the history of basketball. And last but not least, you, you're talking about the iconic figures in the history of the sport. 
the Tim Duncans of the world, the LeBron James of the world, the, the, the Wayne Wades of the world, and others who swear by this man and his coaching ability. Yeah, Kyrie can't overcome that, and I think because of it, when you're talking about just an attitude transplant per se, that's where Popovich comes in and can have an immediate profound impact similar to what Phil Jackson did when he came to the Lakers in 2000. Well, your, your point is well taken about at this point in, in Pop's life, maybe he doesn't want to develop a whole thing from scratch because, you know, time is ticking. And while he's an active professional, you know, let's let's see. And, and he's never had that kind of job. Let me come into a collection of awesome talent, but it hasn't all been put together. Maybe that would interest him. Um, so, yeah, I get that. And also, um, the idea of bringing a, a basketball championship to New York you know, it hasn't been done since the late 60s unless, you know, you want to talk about ABA with the Nets when they were on Long Island. But in the NBA, it hasn't been done since 72-73 Knicks. That would be amazing. In my lifetime, Stephen A., because the Knicks won it in January of 73. I was born in August of 73. They, you know, there's been no championship at the NBA level in New York. So if he did that with the Nets... That would be amazing. I'm not saying the Nets are not the right kind of fit for Popovich or he wouldn't be great for them or maybe them for him. But based on his history as a coach, it seems to me were he interested in parachuting into a situation like that as a mercenary, he could have done that a million times. What seems to me from afar to interest him is building something. And he, he built something in San well, Antonio, and, and year after year, you know, you got to start from scratch and do it all well, again. That's the kind of work that seems to me to interest him, and that seems to me more to be Philadelphia where, than Brooklyn. But here's where I think you're wrong. You said he could have done it a million times. In his mind, he could not have, because Tim Duncan was there until a couple of years ago, and he was not going to desert Tim Duncan, Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.